again, my little yarnivores and spider ads. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. Today we've got ourselves another lovely lacy stitch. This one is the Little Pineapples Stitch. It's very, very simple. I love the staggering of the little motifs there, and it's only a four row repeat. Very, very simple, and I think it would be awesome for a wide scarf, a wrap, a baby blanket would be adorable for this, I think. And for this particular swatch, I used Pound of Love in the colorway of Honeybee. This video is not sponsored, but I always like to let you know what it is that I use in case if you want to duplicate the results. Also, since this is a weight of four yarn, I used a 5.5 millimeter hook. This is a size I. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right. Okie dokie, first things first, as per usual, your base chain. For this particular stitch, you're going to need a multiple of 10 chains plus an additional 3 chains. So for today's piece, I have 33 chains. I've got 3 multiples of 10 chains plus my additional 3 chains, so I've got 33 here. Now of course you can make this as wide or as narrow as you want to, but I always do suggest do a swatch first, get used to the pattern, and then based on your swatch, if you want to make a really wide piece like a blanket, you'll know how many multiples you'll need for the width that you're going for. So get your base chain ready, multiple of 10 plus an additional 3, and we'll get started with row 1. Okay, row 1, going to start by doing a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. And that is going to count as a total of two double crochets because that skipping of the first three, well, that's going to count as a double. And then we got another double right there. And then from here, chain three and skipping two chains into that third chain single crochet and then two more single crochets for a total of three in a row. Okay, chain three. Okay, skipping two chains and then into the third chain, double crochet. and double crochet into the next two chains for a total of three. We're going to do this all the way across. Okay, chain three, skip two chains into the third chain, single crochet, Single into the next two stitches. Chain three. Skip two chains, double into the next three. Chain three. Skip two chains, single into the next three. Chain three. Skip two chains, and then into the last two stitches, double crochet. So double and double. There you go. And that is row one. And then we're going to get into the repeat rows. And yes, I will be doing a full repeat for you guys. So don't worry. And of course, as always, the uh, timestamps will be in the description box down below as per usual. Okay, row two. 
Now, in a lot of patterns, it says to chain up three for your first double crochet. Me, personally, sometimes I think that a chaining up of two looks a little bit nicer. Dealer's choice, it's up to you. So I'm gonna chain up two for my first double, turn the work, and then into this next stitch right here, the second one, two double crochets. There we are, chain one. Now into the third single crochet stitch, we're gonna work a treble crochet. So that's yarning over twice, going into that stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. There we go. And then chain one. And we're gonna do another treble, but we're gonna cross the stitches. So going behind this bar, we're gonna go into that first single with a treble crochet. So yarning over twice, and then we're gonna go around the back and into that single. Another way of doing it is turn your work this way to see where you go in with that single. We're gonna do this a bunch of times, don't worry. So from here, pull up a loop, pull through two, through two, and through two. So we have two trebles crossing over each other, which I think makes a really nice little bit of texture, and it is the same in appearance on both sides. Extra bonus there. So from here, chain one. Now working with these three doubles, two doubles into the first stitch. Next stitch, one double. Third stitch, two doubles. So we're increasing a little bit here. From three to five. Okay, and then chain one, again into the third single, treble crochet, pull through two, through two, through two, chain one, yarning over twice, going back into that first single. So again, going around and into that stitch, that first single, through two, through two, through two, chain one, into that first double, two doubles, one double into the next stitch, and two doubles into that third stitch. There you go. And we got one more crossover here. So chain one, yarning over twice, going into that third stitch with a treble. Through two, through two, through two. Chain one, yarning over twice, going around the back and into that first, whoop, I missed a loop. I missed one of the little Vs there. So going around the back and into that stitch, through two, through two, through two, chain one, and then into this first double, two doubles, And then into the very last stitch, this double right here, one double. It can be a little bit fiddly, but it is worth it. There we go. And that is the end of row two. So I got some texture already. It's looking gorgeous. 
All right, let's go on. Okay, row three. Row three, start off by chaining up one, turn the work, and single crochet into the first two stitches. We're going to leave this third one alone. So single and single, chain three. Okay, and then into the chain one space where we did our crossover, three doubles. Okay, chain three, skipping the first and the last double, three single crochets in the middle. So skipping the first, going to the next three stitches with single crochets. There we are, chain three, into the chain one space, Three doubles. Chain three. Skip the first double, single into the next three. Oops. There we go. Chain three. Into the chain one space. Three doubles. And then we're almost at the end here. So chain three. Skip that first stitch, that first double, in the next two, the last two for that matter, single into each. There we go. Now the reason why I like to do a chaining up of two instead of a chaining up of three, I think that it makes the edge look a little bit better. Again, it's up to you, but that's how I like to do it. At any rate, that is the end of row three. Let us proceed, shall we? Okay. Row four. Okay, row four, start off by chaining up two. Turn the work. Double crochet into that first stitch there. like so, and going to chain one. Now we need to have this bunch of three doubles fan out, so after doing your two doubles in your chain one, into that first double, two doubles. One double into the next stitch and then two in the third. So double and double. Okay, chain one, and we're gonna do another crossover here. So into the third single treble crochet, pull up a loop, pull through two, through two, through two, chain one, yarning over twice, going into that first single, round the back, and into that stitch. Takes a little bit of practice, but it is worth it in the long run. Creates such a nice bit of texture here. Now, the reason why we're doing a treble, probably should have mentioned this before, the reason why we're doing a treble is because you need that extra length. If you tried to do that with a double, it would probably, you know, scrunch up a little too much. And you need to have the length because it's going at an angle across, not just straight up and down. So from here, going to chain one, 
then with these three doubles into the first, two doubles, then double into the next stitch, and then two doubles into the third. Okay, chain one, treble crochet into that third single crochet stitch, through two, through two, through two, chain one, yarning over twice, going around the back and into that first single with a treble, through two, through two, through two, chain one, going into the first double with two doubles, double into the next, almost had it, two doubles into the third, There we go, chain one, and then into the second single crochet stitch, two doubles. And there you go, that's the end of row four. Okay, row five, it's the last row, and then we'll do a full repeat. So for row five, start off by chaining up two, turn the work, double into that first stitch, okay, chain three, and then skipping this first double, single crochet into the next three stitches. It's one, two, three, chain three, okay, double into the chain one space of the V, or the X, however you want to put it, the crossover, the thingamabob, the doodad, the whoosie whatsits, you know, that thing. All right, then chain three, single crochet into the second, third, and fourth, so skip that first one into the next. So we've got our three singles right here. Pull out a little more yarn. Okay, chain three. Three doubles into the chain one space of the X. There we go. Chain three. Skip the first double, single into the next three stitches. Chain three. And then into the last stitch, two doubles. And there you go. So, as promised, and as I usually do, we are going to now do a full repeat of rows two, through five, which you can repeat as many times as you want to until your piece is big enough. But because I like spending time with you, let's do it together. Okay, row two for the repeat. Start off by chaining up two, turn the work into the second stitch, two double crochets. There we are. So 
So we've got the increase, it's sort of the, the burgeoning out. Then chain one, yarning over twice because we need a treble in the third single. So go into that stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Chain one, yarning over twice, treble into the first single around the back and into that stitch, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, chain one, into the first double, two doubles, one in the next, and two in the third. There we go. Chain one. Treble in the third single. Through two, through two, through two. Chain one. Treble in the first. There we go. Chain one, two doubles in the first double. One in the next. And two in the third. Okay. Chain one, treble in the third single. Chain one, treble into the first around the back and in and up and through, through, through. Okay, a bit more yarn. Chain one. And at the end here, going to do two doubles in the first and then one in the last. Ta -da! All right. And there you go. That is row two for the repeat. Row three. So row three, start off by chaining up one and turning the work. Single into the first and second stitch. So that's a single and single. Chain three. Three doubles in the chain space of the X. It's one, two, and three. Chain three. Skip the first double, single into the next three. Chain three, three doubles into the chain space of the X. Chain three, skip the first double, single into the next three stitches. It's one, Two and three. Okay, chain three. Three doubles into the chain space of the X. Chain three. Six. 
chain three. Okay, skip the first double, single into the next and the last stitch. And there you are. That is the end of row three for the repeat. Row four for the repeat, start off by chaining up two, turn, and double into that first stitch. Okay. Chain one into the first double, two doubles. Double into the next, and two doubles into the third. Chain one. Okay, then we need to do another treble into that third single. So hopping right in, pull up a loop, pull through two, through two through two, chain one, going around the back into that first single, through two, through two, through two, chain one, into the first double, two doubles, one in the next, and then two in the third. There we go. Chain one, treble into the third single, chain one, and then going around the back, treble into the first single. Chain one, two doubles into the first double. Double into the next. And two doubles in the third. chain one, and then in the very last single, two doubles. And there you are. That's the end of row four. We just got one more to go, so let's do it to it, shall we? Okay, row five for the last row of the repeat. Start by chaining up two, and turn, double into that first stitch, chain three. Okay, skipping the first double, single into the next three. Chain three, three doubles, into that chain space of the X. There we go. Chain three. Skip that first stitch, single into the next three. Chain three, three doubles into the chain space of the X. Chain three, skip the first double, single into the next three stitches.
Okay. Chain three. Okay. And then into the top of the last double, two doubles. And there you go. So that is the full repeat for the stitch. Now you could of course end on really whatever row you like, you know, just keep going over and over and over until your piece is big enough. And again, the timestamps are in the description box. So there you go, the little pineapple stitch. Alrighty, my dears. So that's going to conclude today's tutorial on the little pineapple stitch. Really hope that you liked it. And if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation as always. And in the comments section down below, let me know what are you going to do with this stitch? What sort of project, what sort of yarn, what sort of color? Always interested in your feedback as well as your creative process journey, all that fun stuff. Yes, always interested. So you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.